cool. So um, I'll just explain how the format of the six term examination papers works. Uh, it's otherwise referred to as STEP. Uh, achievement in these STEP papers normally forms part of a conditional offer to read mathematics at Cambridge and they're usually taken in later June. Uh, after all of your other exams are out of the way. Uh, the step format now, there are three of these step mathematics papers numbered one to three, uh, and your offer will usually include grades in just two of them. So if you're taking further mathematics A-level, uh, the offer usually includes grades in papers two and three. Uh, if you're not taking further math mathematics or say further IB or further pre-U, uh, any equivalent to the further mathematics A-level, uh, then the offer only includes grades in papers one and two. So, um, each paper consists of 13 questions. There's eight in pure, three in mechanics, and two in statistics and probability. Uh, now, each paper is assessed on answers to at most six of these questions. So you're not assessed on everything, uh, so it's generally best to focus on the stuff you feel most confident with. Um, now, there's the grading system uh, for STEP is, is a bit different from A-levels. Uh, there's five grades, which are from highest to lowest being S, 1, 2, 3, and U. And the U is the one you definitely don't want. Uh, so, a useful resource uh, for you is Dr. Stephen Silkos's book. It's called Advanced Problems in Mathematics, Preparing for University. Uh, it contains general advice on problem solving and it's accompanied with around 70 step style problems with hints and full solutions. So this is available as a paperback from Amazon and provides very useful help in preparing for any undergraduate mathematics course. So hope that was helpful and that's all we have time for today. See ya.